Kirby. Back at it again with the yeah. Kirby. It's so, been a while. Let's uh, introduce ourselves. Ah, oh, yes. Death Sea Otter. Paulo Fernandez. I'm Sywitch. And I'm Cave Brad. Mmm. Nice I'm, to meet you, Cave Brad. Nice to meet you, Cave Brad. It's nice to meet me too, very much, sir. <laughs> and here I'm going to be helping when needed my dear friends Paulo and uh, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> to navigate. See, I'm like, you guys are going to do a thing, but you're going to do it my way because I'm I'm the boss. And you're going to 100% break him offensive. Okay. Because that's the only way to play it. But I'll be your Kate um, Brad. Okay. For a second, I was like, where's Paul? <laughs> Gotta give birth to him. <laughs> do you remember how? Yep, oh, I got it. Here. <laughs> Must do the ah. dance of birth. <laughs> First, you must oxygenate your wound space. Out. Breathing Present. in, breathing out. Oops. Oxygenating our wound space. <laughs> Alright, present. How do I open this? Okay, oh. Oh. right, up. And I'm brushing off on Mega Man X3 because that's what I'm playing. No! Shit! Oh, yeah. Even with the simple AI. Oh, no. Fuck you, Rhino. Alright. <laughs> He likes to change direction every once in a while. I got the bad AI. I see. So, like, we're not playing this, but I can explain it anyway. In Mega Man X3, the first boss... Uh -huh. Shut up. In Mega Man X3, the first boss you fight is Tunnel Rhino. And uh -huh. if you get to the boss without dying once, all he does is move back and forth, and he doesn't shoot anything or change his pattern. But he still has a chance of, like... Yeah, I died. Of, like, psyching you out and changing direction, mm. and it fucks up your... Because hmm. you climb on the walls and jump in the other way and hit him. Mm -hmm. But he like, it's like, nope, I'm not turning this way. And you're like, oh shit, I've got to change my tactics. And then you die. <laughs> so. Even with the dumb AI, the game is still hard as hell. Yeah. Ow. So. In fact, I find it to be easier okay. with his... Don't oh. hit that one. Motherfucker. <laughs> it's no. Joe? No, Joe. Joe. Like Scott. Is that how Boston people are racist? They call him. Okay. First off, <laughs> I was not born. There's gonna be so much bleeping going on. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Which will make them even more curious. It's, it's great. I'm in a great mood. I had a Red Bull. Ah. Uh. Uh. a pretty good mood despite my crazy day. Who wouldn't be with a double shot in a wrap? Yeah. I was I was initially supposed to close tonight. Oh yeah? But then my last night as I was closing, my manager texted me. It was just like, hey, I'm not feeling good. Do you want to switch shifts? And I was like, okay. Okay. Come on. <laughs> and I did it. Cave Brad says you need a partner to kind of hit the switches in succession. This is more like a Resident Evil 5 puzzle. I see. You might want to work together with Paul to hit the switches. Nah, screw that. <laughs> Alright, ready? Thank you. Uh, you. <laughs> you know what? I'm not giving any more advice. You know there has to be two of you. That. Right. Okay. Paul, hit that one. Okay. Okay. Oh, you... Am I able to... There you Woo! go! You got a crystal ball. That's a lot of money. Stop touching my crystal balls. Hey, Jerk. Uh-oh. Oh, oh yep. you can't... <laughs> nice. Speaking of a good mood, I, I was in a good mood today. Probably oh, really? because... I spent five days not at work, which is the longest time I've spent not working in years. That's... <laughs> That's amazing. Mm. That's really nice. Because you got your wisdom teeth out? Yeah. Uh, I've never known anyone to be that sick from having their wisdom teeth. Because I'm sure Paul really wanted to hang out, but well, it was like... 
Oh, yeah. Uh, I was pretty out of it for a couple of days after my wisdom teeth got taken out. You're probably high as shit, too. I was really upset really. because I wasn't. <laughs> when mine were pulled, I was, like, bad for a day. I wasn't even bad that day. I just had the day off because I ha had to. No, mm. I was always just thinking, man, it's really annoying how I have to keep shoving cotton into my mouth. Mm. Yeah, that was the first day. Um, uh, mm. Second day was the worst for me, actually. Yeah. First day you have those drugs. Yeah. You got the good shit. I also threw up a bunch of blood the first day. Yeah. Woohoo! That's Hooray for shrapnel! <laughs> <laughs> We're not calling back to that joke. We're not. You're in denial. We just did. Fuck you. Thank you. No. I'm not gonna lie, I'm totally down for some Resident Evil tonight. Uh, I'd be down for, okay. for some Resi tonight, too. Because I'm just... I'm in a chatty <laughs> mood, I'm like really happy. Let me hit the thing. Okay. Teamwork. You will hit the thing. Use the real superpower of teamwork. There we go. Also, let me know if I get too loud. Oh. I feel like I'm Maggie, you're never too you're loud. You're fine. Okay. I'm always very self-conscious about my voice, whether it's mm. in the tone or it's volume. Your tone is fine. It is? Yeah, you kind of have this, like, motherly, like, this very self-assured, uh, intelligent, uh, experienced voice. You don't talk like uh, this. Uh -oh. I, I, don't, I don't talk like... I hate the world and it owes me everything, but I just had a man's cock down my throat and I'm gagging saliva, you know? Uh, that kind of, you know, I'm just, like, so contradictory uh, of my like, actions. Valley girl? Yeah. I'm Princess Aww. Patch, you guys. I'm Princess Patch. That's how Princess Patch talks. Who's Princess Patch? Uh, just, you know, like the Valley okay. Girl version of Princess Peach. Oh my god. Um, is that another crown? No. I also had a really funny idea during work today. Yeah? Of, you know how people do, like, video game rap battles between video game characters? Like, yeah. Mercy versus the Medic, or Master Chief versus Doom Guy. I want to see one that's Peach versus Zelda. I feel like that could be funny. Peach mm. would win just because Zelda's humility. <laughs> Paul, get down here. She doesn't need to prove her power. Hold Ooh. on. Yeah. Hey, you got the screw attack. I'm fighting Blizzard Buffalo, and he has this weird thing where if you, like, oh, I fucked it up. Like, if you, you're well, facing I him... Mind that. Hey, does anyone want to draw something for me? Because I heard a wizard buffalo. Wizard buffalo. I'm on it. <laughs> I'll draw right. one, too. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll draw one. And then I'll have... And then I'll get this notebook over to you. Where's the sketchbook? On the thing. There it is. Oh. <laughs> we need to send this to Caleb Hart, by the way. Alright. The wizard buffalo? Yeah, well... I don't know, like, even though he's really funny and very educated, he doesn't seem like the guy who's very interactive with his streamers. Well, he's kind of a dick in that regard. Well, he's a speedrunner, right? Well, here's the thing. Caleb is not a nerd. Oh. Like, I mean, he's a nerd in the sense of, like, his taste. Oh, well, that didn't work. <laughs> nope. Uh, you gotta use... But Caleb Hart uh, yep. 42 yeah, is I'm very socially player. in tune. Mm. He's not some guy who's like, if you call it Pokemon, he'll like, it's Pokemon! You know, Caleb Hart's not like that. He's, he's... Like, let me give you an example of Caleb Hart's personality. It's like a dry sense of humor. He accidentally discovered a glitch in uh, Freeze Man's level in Mega Man 7 during one of his Octafective videos. And he's like, holy shit, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> and then he proceeds to say, I mean, I invented that strat yesterday. <laughs> so he's not socially awkward. He's very in tune with his emotions and other people's uh, no, intentions. Sorry, we had lost you, Paul. I mean, he did oh, have a discussion fun. for like mm. 10 minutes with a bunch of other streamers yeah, about there we go. blunts and Yeah, snack you can foods. become a big guy. But Caleb Hart would be the last type of person where you'd say, I'd really prefer it if you were to be quiet. That's true. 
You remember that one, Maggie? Ow. Um... That's like the best GDQ meme. <laughs> There's this fucking punk named uh, Chibi. Chibi. It's like, Chibi... I'm sure you have a kind heart, but you've got to know where your boundaries are. <laughs> and so this guy was doing a Jack 2 run on PlayStation 1. Mm -hmm. And just uninvited. It's like a 3 in the morning run, and it's not a very well-known game. And so he just invites himself on the couch and just starts becoming a jackass and trying to get all the attention. And it got to the point where, like, the runner's trying to be nice. He's like, thank you, guy, I don't know. <laughs> and then, like, 20 minutes into the run, he'd say, I really prefer it if you were to be quiet right now. But you could tell he just wanted to slit his throat open and, like, shove his fist down the wound. And mm. <laughs> It is one of the best, hilarious, GDQ, awkward, cringe moments. And, uh... Honestly, this is a controversial opinion. Mm -hmm. GDQ staff should not ban people that are cringy because I think they generate more revenue for charity when people watch for the cringe. Oh mm. no, monkey on fire. <laughs> Monkey's gonna be dead soon. So if like Proto Magical Girl flashes her boobs and says, I'm not a man, you don't know there me. There you go. She should not be banned. Because that would just, like, get more money. You need Cutter to get that. I'm sorry. Uh, Cave Brad says you need Cutter or Sword ability to get that. Oh, uh, where's, so. where's Cutter or Sword ability? Nope. Uh, figure it out, bitches. Not down there. <laughs> Definitely not down there. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Cave Brad. <laughs> no. Oh, no, you got your thing stole. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. I mean, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking it up. I'm Cave Brad. I know everything about the cave. Oh, God. Oh, man. You fell in a I pit. became fat and fell to my death. <laughs> Just like real life. You turned 40 and gained 50 pounds in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> well, this started off. Oh my god, we're at the start. Oh, fuck. Oh well, we, we can just blast through without having to worry about the treasures now. Blast that ass. Wait, no. What? Mm. what? Just... I'd love to play yeah. these in Anal Blazer. Hope somebody will blast my ass. Maggie! I don't have a oh. filter right Sidewitch. now. That's okay. Don't be filtery. Yes. Hold your breath. It's crass the blast ass and link to the past. That <laughs> <laughs> hurt my throat. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like the release of air physically hurt me. It's like The Simpsons where Milhouse finds out that Lisa's dating Nelson <laughs> and he inflates his milk so fast that the carton explodes. <laughs> <laughs> He's so shocked. He just... On pancakes. There we go. Ugh. I'm telling you. You could write everything you need to know about sin, death, the devil, life, death, and resurrection, Ooh, and forgiveness through quotes from The Simpsons. Yes, I want to say. Thank you. Everything can be reduced and boiled down to Simpsons. There quote. we go. All oh, right. yeah, I watched Matt Groening's new thing on uh, Netflix. Is that any good? Disenchanted? Yeah, Disenchanted. It's like, there's... Okay, so you have creators, but if you have a good staff of writers and editors then your creation will live. So if you have a good idea, like Star Wars, and you get like Irving Kirshner and uh, really good people to direct it and write it and edit it, but then if you do it all yourself and you don't have a good team, you get episode one and episode eight. But how was it? Um, I mean, it wasn't like spectacular. Well, I mean, it wasn't like Futurama or Simpsons, but yeah. I still enjoyed it. The real question, was it I am a virgin? Ah. Nothing That's the gold standard to hold up to for the television. The gold standard. <laughs> I don't Nothing know will if be I am, I am a virgin. I am a virgin. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy your oh, talk. Sure. Ruin TV forever. Nothing yeah. will be that good. Sure. Not even Breaking Bad. Especially not Breaking Bad. <laughs> Paul, are you interested in watching Breaking Bad? Uh, 
kinda. Okay. I watched the first season. It gets better. But if you watch season two, and you say it's not as good as I'm a Virgin, then I truly know your intentions and your taste. <laughs> I, is everyone ready for the wizard buffalo that I have drawn? I'm ready for the wizard buffalo uh, that sure. Maggie has drawn. Okay. Jaw. Banana. Yes. Is that its thigh or just a really weird penis? Where? It's a chin scratcher. A... No, that's his, no, that's his wand. And that's his like back, like hip. Yeah. And then that he's got a cape and he's got a hat. And he's got a little star in his eye because he's magic. Hmm. I see. I actually tried to be competent in my drawing. Ah. All right. I'm gonna drink some oh, for right now. Uh, no, why does the thief keep falling? Um, Sounds like you're talking about D&D. I was gonna say yeah. because he's got like a two in dexterity. Or no, what? Why would a thief have two in dexterity? I don't that know. is like the a, worst. That sounds like a really bad thief. Well, oh, actually, Paul got stolen. Oh, we're no, dead. I'm dead too. God oh. damn it. Well, to put things in perspective, I managed to write a story about a bard that had a two in charisma, so... His name was Bard. His best friend's name was Steve. And they went on crazy adventures. And got into trouble. I see. I know how you can be uh, a rogue with a two in dexterity. Remember, uh... Ooh. The story about that one, like, I think it was, like, a half-orc who, uh, snuck around with intimidation. <laughs> no, wow. Hey, Oops, that's a way to deal with him. I have not heard the story mm. of the half-orc. Uh, so basically, he, instead of rolling stealth, he'd roll intimidation. So, when he was trying to, like, sneak around and he got obviously seen, he would roll intimidation and be like, You do not see, Grog! <laughs> Nice. I do not see Grog. <laughs> what the... Flipperheim was that? That little, like... There goes his thief. Disco... Frisbee. Oh. Nope. Frickin' thieves! <laughs> He's just ripping off the head. He's wearing, like, disco frisbees, and I don't know what they do. Ah, uh, they just shoot stuff at you. Yeah. No. Alright. Ah, um, uh, I'm keeping... I'm keeping Kata. I'll get... Sword Man. Sword Man. Sword Knight. Oh, alright. Well. Well, then. Is that whale well, have... Well, time to leave, bye. Does that whale have a... Yeah. A pipe and a scarf? He does. Oh my god, he's wearing a sailor suit. Ah! <laughs> no. Boost so oh, juicy. Well, see you later. Sailor, sailor whale. The true sailor nephew. Oh god, Paul's gone for good. Yep. And you don't have an ability. Oh no! Guard. Guard like your life depends on it. forgot about guard. Should have used guard better. This is, I, I, maybe I should just accept death. Hi. <laughs> this oh. is a fun boss fight. Can you go back out? Yeah. Yes, we can. Excellent. You can be sword, and then you I can vomit so up the sword. Well, okay oh. then. The sword became a wizard. I am jet. After jet. I am sword. <laughs> Do you want mirror or sword? Um, I am fine either way. Oops. Well, <laughs> you're sword now. Guess so. Sword bros! Super I, I'm sword bros. sorry, Mike. It appears we have missed one treasure. You can always backtrack. I will not. Woo! Cheap, cheap. I know this is not cheap, cheap, but still. Ah! 
Okay, we're good. Mm. Ooh, boy. I, I had a kind of weird early morning dream this morning. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like, oh, God. Ah, oh, shit. I'm not at full health anymore. Darn. Ah, oh, shit. My... I don't know why this involved... Well, now I am, I guess. DS, but it's just like, I dropped it in a way to where it unlocked a secret game that had been programmed onto the the DS itself. Ooh, neat. And it's this, like, weird, like, RPG-ish type game. Oh, God, what Ooh. was it called? It was, like, Sword Quest or something. Dragon Quest? No, no, no. It was, like, a made-up game that my brain made up. Oh, I see. But it was really cool. <laughs> and uh and when my alarm went off at 6... Uh, I had made it to, like, the ice world. On the board! That looks like... That looks like... Bye, Paul! <laughs> so this is Spoonie's attempt. I see. It's Frost Ganon. <laughs> with... That works. With some... Poor... Anorexic child firing a beam. It'll okay. make sense once I fight Wizard Buffalo. <laughs> Wizard <laughs> Buffalo. Oh. Nope, nothing there. Oh. Yours is better than mine. Yeah. Oh, they both have their charms. Where's my 3DS? Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm sad. The cheese wedge died. Like, officially no, died. Okay, cool. Oh, I got a God. dime. Hey. A dime this... is worth ten gold. Yes. I guess gold is How worth less because like it's or... a um, penny. It just, I think it's just like... Because I was and, trying to play a game, and, and, and it go. was connected to like the charger and everything. Oh, uh, I might as well save. It just like shut off. Yeah. So it's just All like, right, well... Saving. It had a good run. Well, oh, Maggie, here's the thing. Yeah. This is both for Sidewitch, and this is for everyone what? who plays DS. If you're playing... Get a little more. Yeah. If you're playing a game console, or if you're using your phone while it's charging, it messes up the lithium inside the battery. And if you constantly play it while it's plugged in, it'll eventually die. This is science. Oh so. no, spikes! That Woo. is Cave Rad's lesson for today. Alright. Alright, you found an ancient, uh, an ancient gem. Up. Oh. Take that thief. Yeah, we got it! Captain Falcon! Falcon it's helmet! It's only worth 410 bucks. Hmm. It's a fake. It's not the real Captain no. Falcon. No. <laughs> it's just a very good replica. Yeah. It, it's a good, uh, a good Etsy shop. They took it to the BSAA and they knew. Wait. No. I BSA, not stole it. BSAA. <laughs> they took it to Chris Redfield. Chris Redfield judges Black oh. Lotuses and Honus Wagner cards. Wooden <laughs> pop. Oh, okay. We've already been. There. Yeah, we went that way. That's the way you came from. I, I I want to get as many treasures as possible. As Besides that one. Oh no! One. Get back here, you no! thief! No! Stolen like a thief in the night. The last level does backtrack to the first one, so... Hmm. Hmm. One wonders if this is where they got the inspiration for Subspace Emissary. In, uh... Oh, it's dead. I think the inspiration for subspace was something for single players to do. Yeah, and I guess it also to show off like the processing power of the Wii. Well, if you play Smash, you're already a single player, so. <laughs> Thanks for that jab, Spoonie. Like I'm not already self. No, if you if you play melee, you're swimming in women. Uh, there we go. So I need to play. You need to play melee and be good at it. If you play brawl, then mm. you're single. I play Smash 4. Ah. I want to get a Switch, though, so I can... 
play Smash Ultimate. Ah. Everyone's in Ultimate except Waluigi. But I saw I saw a really wholesome like comic about that. Like the reason Daisy's in Smash is because Waluigi felt bad and so he gave her his ticket. That's a cute idea, but totally out of character for Waluigi. Yeah. Hey. hey aw. Make out. I ship it. Aw. It, it, I don't know. It wouldn't let me throw up in your mouth. <laughs> My ship sank. What? You just paused it. I did? Yes. Oh, I thought the game froze. No. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> then I had to be like, okay, which one's the uh, pause button? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh. So do we call it here? We're going to call it here. All right. Big everyone, see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.